Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's preview, Stormers versus the Lions. And it is D-Day for the Lions, who are desperately trying to stay in contention. Well, qualify, not just stay in contention, qualify for the quarterfinals. And a win should do that for them. A bonus point win um, will should definitely do that. For, will, will definitely do that for them. And a bonus point win should be able to get them to seventh place, which would mean... Champions Cup qualification um, because at the moment the eighth place will fall out because of the fact that the Sharks have won the Challenge Cup. So it's all to play for uh, for the Lions tomorrow. And it's a strong Stormers team, an interesting Lions team. It's a strong Lions team, but an interesting couple of decisions. And it's set to be an absolute thriller because the Stormers are out there to win as well uh, at the end of the day. You know, they qualified, um, but they don't want, they want to make sure they're going to finish fourth. Although, to be honest, I don't think it makes much of a difference. I, I think, you know, we can create a narrative about Stormers having to win. The reality is they can't finish any higher than fifth. And the way that top four looks, you know, I don't think there's really a good play person to play. If you finish, you know, seven, then you play a Leinster, for example. You don't really, I mean, sorry, sixth, then you, you, you play Leinster. If you finish fifth, at the moment, you're going to play Glasgow Warriors away. Um, so I don't think there's really a favorable uh, um, team to play when it comes to the, the quarterfinals. Ironically, you maybe even want to play the, the Bulls because the have had a good um, time against the Bulls. But anyway, the Stormers need one, uh, need, need a win, and they will basically guarantee that fifth place spot. Um, but the Lions, well, then it's everything to play for. They are currently tied with Edinburgh and Benetton. One of those teams will be dropping points, um, which means a win for the Lions would put them in that top eight. So before we go look at the two, the two teams, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the Stormers, and as I mentioned, pretty strong side. Uh, in the front row, it is Steve Satoli, Andre Hugo, Fenter, and Nierting for sure, who are packed down, and then experience next to experience next to experience in the reserve front row. And the second row is Captain Sal Murat next to Ruben van Heer, who's very much on the box radar at the moment, or both of them are actually. Um, and then you've got uh, Evan Ruiz, Ben Jason Dixon, and Hachiba Diamani in that dynamic loose trio. Um, ben Jason Dixon spotted in the Springbok alignment camp as well, um, getting recognition for the performances he's been putting in. Evan Ruiz playing at six is a very interesting one, given the fact there doesn't seem to be an obvious see a Khaleesi replacement type of thing in that number six jersey moving forward. You've got a Mark and start and he's playing there. Quacker Smith can play there. But long term, who is going to sort of step into that role? Um, you know, John Plumtree spoken about the fact that Pepsi Boot Lazy could fill that role. Now all of a sudden, um, Evan Ruiz is being looked at in that role. So it's a very interesting positional decision there. Um, Hachiba Daimani for me, I mean, 7 8, he's, he's just as effective up against his former side. Uh, Hershey Yankees will partner Monty Leibach in that halfback pairing. Angelo Davids, Naaman Hartzenberg, the two wings. Sasha Fayemu Gomez Zulu is fit and will start at full back. Not his preferred position, but generally plays at 10. Well, generally plays at 12, would like to be playing at 10. The midfield is Dan Duplessis and Wanda Sila Similane. Um, so also in Similane up against his former side. So interesting to see how that goes. Off the bench, Joseph Dwyer, Brock Harris, France Bohe will be bringing plenty of experience. RJ Smith, Marcel Tennyson, it is a 5-3 split. So uh, it's a nice bit of carry from RJ Smith, but not going for that bomb squad sort of approach. Stefan Ungra and Johnny Duplessis and Ben Loder are the reserve backline players. Stefan Ungra, for me, a very good game management uh, type of scrum half. Uh, if we then look at the Lions in the front row, Morgan Nordia, PJ Burton, Asanati, and Klave Kanye, the scrum battle is going to be very interesting because this Lions scrum are statistically the best scrum in the URC but they're up against a very potent Stormer scrum as well. Willem Alberts will captain the side in what could be his last game ever if they were to fail to qualify for the um, for the, um, the the playoffs, which, by the way, they still do if they were to lose. If they were to lose with uh, with two bonus po losing bonus points and Benson and Edinburgh only picked up one point, they would finish eighth. They wouldn't get the Champions Cup, but they would go into the URC playoffs. Um, so you kind of think that two points should be enough for the Lions, really. Um, depending on what happens in that Edinburgh-Benson uh, game, which is at the same time, fun enough. Uh, but yeah, anyway, he'll be partnered by Ruan Dalport in that second row. You've then got JC Batorius, Emmanuel Tuka, and Franco Horn. Uh, what a good loose chair that is. Plenty of pace, power in, in, in the likes of Franco Horn, skilled in JC Batorius, and a bit of mixture of all of it in Franco Horn. Monique van den will continue to partner Sinead and the Humber. Edel van den rubs McClane after that fantastic game he had against Glasgow Warriors, is backed again with Kuhn Horn, who is very much looking to potentially be an option for Springboks at fullback after that injury to Damien Willemser. In the centres, Marius Lowe will not start coming back from injury, so it will be Jordan Hendrickson next to Eric Cronier. Two playmakers on the park for the Lions um, physically as well. Uh, Jordan Hendrickson, good in defence, not quite the same ball-carrying threat though, so it'll be interesting to see how the Lions uh, sort of adjust to that. Then off the bench, Jakob Asaki, J.P. Smith, Ruan Drea. 
So I'd better spring my quality there in Muran Dre. Uh, then we've got Etienne Oosthuizen, Raymond North Narkel, and Eisen Esterhazen. Players who have impressed throughout the season. Marius Lowe, Gianni Lombard. It is a 6 2 split without a scrum off on the bench because you have a snare in the Humber who can uh, switch back to nine if needed. So it's an interesting team. It's two solid teams. Uh, and for me, I think this is going to be a high scoring game. Uh, you know, we could be talking, you know, 45 to. 40, you know, 30 points to, to 28 type of things. I think this could be a close game. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. I really hope so. The Lions are so desperate, uh, and they're going to have to pick up points. Even if they lose, if they can pick up two losing bonus points, that gives them a chance of, of that playoff uh, spot. Let me know what your score predictions are, as well as how you think this game is going to go down in the comments below. Please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon.